My name is Nick Robinson with WatchMojo.com, and today I've asked my manliest of manly friends, Anthony Shammy, to help me prove to you that you can use some girly exercises to get very manly results. So today, I'm stealing three classic exercises from Pilates to change Anthony's body into something even manlier. So the first exercise we're going to do today is we're gonna take a Pilates bicycle and we're gonna challenge Anthony's lower belly. So the first thing I'm gonna have him do is curl up so that his shoulder blades come all the way off the floor. Yeah, so now his belly is powerfully engaged. On top of that, I'm gonna have him imprint, that means press his lower back into the floor solidly, and then lift his knees up. Good, now you're gonna bicycle these knees. And I want you to take this like as ex and extend them as far as you can, good and keep this curl, keep the curl. Now the legs here are challenging his imprint, so that lower back position on the floor is being challenged by these legs here, which means that his abdominals has to push powerfully into the floor to keep the imprint. You can see he's already starting to do that fast twitching that's happening in the belly. And breathe, don't forget to breathe. You know, the reason people hold their breath when they do abdominal exercises is because when you hold your breath, it hardens the diaphragm, which is your body's way of cheating. Because when you hold your breath, you harden up your diaphragm, and your diaphragm then pushes up against the belly wall, keeping your belly from having to do all the hard work. That's why teachers like me keep telling people to breathe when they do abdominal exercises, because people typically don't, especially when they're challenging. Good job. So typically, when a man wants to target his core, he's gonna do some crunches. But you know guys, if you can do a thousand crunches, there's something wrong with the crunch. So I'm gonna show Anthony how to do a Pilates V-sit, which we usually see in a 100 when you do Pilates. I'm gonna show him how to modify that. So if he does 10, I'd be surprised, because they're really hard. So the first thing he's gonna do is he's gonna come up into a V position. So come all the way up. Start by grabbing your legs, because what I'm gonna do here, while he's supporting himself, is correct the spine position and come really into neutral. So you really wanna pull your chest up and forward, pull the belly button up and forward. Good, now you can let go of your legs and really try to come into a V and extend the legs. Good. Now from here, you're gonna extend all the way out and pull the knees into your chest. Good. And take them out and pull the knees into your chest. Good, breathing all the time. These are so tough that it's really hard to do more than a minute of those. So compared to the crunch that you can do a thousand of, these are 10 times more effective. So the third exercise I've chosen is called Little Piece of Heaven. And it's a variation on a push-up. So I'm gonna have Anthony start in this nice tabletop position, but I'm gonna correct a couple of things. The first thing I'm gonna do is have him lift his belly a little bit so that he's got a neutral spine, he's not collapsed. His hands are underneath his shoulder. The reason for that is we're gonna put all of our energy into triceps rather than chest and biceps, which typically men will work when they do a wide-armed push-up. So Anthony's gonna shift forward and allow his elbows to come near his ribs, good, and then send it back, good. Now this is the easy version. So if you're not used to working your triceps in this way, start with this one. I'm gonna show Anthony the second version, which is much harder, starting in a plank position. Good, hands again directly underneath the shoulder. I'm gonna have Anthony lift his belly a little bit so that this becomes a little bit flatter. And then he's going to shift himself forward, dropping down into a 90 degree angle and press up, good, without losing the belly and shift back. Good, keep this belly nice and tight, shift forward, nice and slow, 90 degree angle in the elbows, shifting back. You can see how demanding this would be of your triceps, but it's also a really hard core workout too. So guys, you don't have to train only what you see in the mirror, because when you're training in a functional kinetic way, you're actually gonna be improving the look of your body anyway. And as you can see, these girly exercises are really tough. So thanks for watching watchmojo.com, and see you next time.